Alright, what is going on everybody? Today I'm here with another NBA 2K16 My Week Challenge video. And in this one, it is going to be every single award or winning every single award challenge. So it's pretty much how it sounds. Throughout these three to four years, I have to get Rookie of the Year, MVP, Sixth Man, Most Improved, Defensive Player of the Year, and Coach of the Year. I decided to do this with the Miami Heat. And if you guys want to see more challenges like these, let's see if this video can get over 750 likes. And also let me know in the comments what other challenges you would like to see. So let's get into this challenge. I wanted to see if I could trade Dwayne Wade, but I can't. Um, I want to get a very good pick this year is my goal. To maybe get a Ben Simmons and try to win Rookie of the Year next year. There's just no way I'm going to be able to trade for Carl Anthony Towns. So let's see. Can I get the Wizards pick for cheap? Tyler Johnson? Okay. Joe Johnson? Yes. Okay. I do that. Um, I could try to get... Brandon Knight and put him on the bench because he usually wins this most improved is usually McCollum and I doubt I'll be able to get him All right, so I mean I am doing this trade I'm sending Chris Bosch over to the Trailblazers first CJ McCollum and a 2016 first round pick So I'm gonna do two things here Um, I'm gonna start McCollum could try to get him to get most improved and I'm gonna have Wade come off the bench I know you guys are like why are you having Wade because Wade has a good chance of winning six man of the year and I need McCollum to win most improved because I feel like that'll be a hard award to win. Defensive play of the year, um, we could roll with Whiteside and hope he wins it. Or I could try to trade for DeAndre Jordan um, and switch Whiteside in for him. But I want to have enough money to sign a specific free agent in the offseason and that's being LeBron. Um, okay, it's going to X for really that much? Alright, no, I'll give it one year with Whiteside. We'll see how he does. Um, this will be the team. Um, I got to fix Wade and McCollum again. I don't even know why I just did that. And I might trade for a pick or two, but I'll see you guys at the end of season one. Um, wait, I gotta fix it manually. Uh, let's just give all the minutes to uh, um, McCollum and Wade. All right, so I'm probably gonna try to get like a Suns pick or something like that, or a Nets pick, and I'll see you guys at the end of season one. So we don't win MVP, obviously. We didn't really have anybody on the team that could have won it. We don't get Rookie of the Year. Um, yeah, Justice Winslow, but that wasn't expected. Yes, let's go. We get six minutes here, Dwayne Wade. That's one I wasn't really um too confident with but we do get it okay so that was a smart move please tell me okay down to jordan i'm probably gonna have to acquire him in the offseason please tell me it's mccomb yes let's go we get most improved player out of the way and we get six man of the year out of the way uh we just need coach mvp rookie and defensive so we have four more to go um i wonder if we got anybody but i'm also going to still try to win a championship with this team i think it'd be pretty cool if we could win one um justice wins oh to even make an all nba team damn that's embarrassing but uh, we made it as a fourth seed. I ended up getting the Suns and our pick back. So we have the Suns, ours, and the Wizards. And the Wizards were bad. And please tell me the Suns were bad. They were all right. Uh, Should have got the Jazz pick, maybe. But yeah, McCollum was a beast. Drogic was a beast. But I'll probably have to trade him in the offseason to clear up cap space for Mr. LeBron James. Um, But yeah, we're taking on the Raptors. So DeRozan and Lowry led Raptors. Uh, we are able to pull out two games in a row. And we're up 2-0. Up 3-0. Okay, sweep. I'm fine with that. And the Cavs win in six. It's going to be tough to beat LeBron and the Cavs who won 65 games. But it is 1-1. Now they're up 2-1. We lose game number uh, four. And we lose in five. All right. So the Hornets made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. And the Cavs do sweep the Thunder in four. And LeBron is your Finals MVP. And hopefully he'll be in Miami Heat once again next year. Okay, I'm simulating here to see what pick we are going to get. We had the Wizards, Suns, and our pick. So uh, we should have two picks in the lottery. And please tell me we got lucky. Yes, we had number 2, 10, 21, and we had the Blazers pick. I completely forgot about that. And 24. I'm going to have to tra trade Tyson Chandler. I forgot how I got him. I think it was in that Suns trade. I had to get him. I'm going to trade uh, probably Drogic, Chandler, and Josh McRoberts here. And this is the perfect salary dump. We're getting Larry Nance Jr. and Anthony Brown. Uh, okay, Tyson Chandler and Josh McRoberts heading to the Lakers. I'm going to see what offers I can maybe get for... Gordon Drogic and my uh, 21st and 24th pick. And hopefully it's a nice cheap player. Like Middleton, eh. Anyone cheaper? Mike Conley. Ooh, only 9 million a year, but I don't want to give him Winslow. Derek Favors isn't bad. I could try to get him. Rudy Gay. Um, all right. I think that Derek Favors trade is something. Uh, Drew Holiday is making 11. Derek Favors is... Bradley Beal for... They want me to give up the number two pick. No, I, I'm not doing that. Um, let me trade... For Derek Favors, and we're getting a 2017 Utah pick. I think they have the number one pick in the draft or something like that. But let me actually see who has number one and see what I can get for it, so I can guarantee uh, get Ben Simmons and try to get Rookie of the Year. It is the Celtics from the Nets. Okay, I have to give up that Jazz pick. 
Byron Hitch Jr. in the 10th pick. Um, and I get Avery Bradley. All right, let's do that trade. Okay. Uh, so if I go to player contracts, we should be good on cap. And yes, yeah, so that be for be it for me now. I picks one. Um, yeah, I just have the first pick. I'm going to take Mr. Ben Simmons, and I'll see you guys at rookie signings. All right, so Ben Simmons is an 80 overall. I'm probably going to give him like 38 minutes next year, just so he can win rookie year. We're bringing back McCollum and Hollis Thompson. Uh, are you freaking kidding me? When does he ever accept this player option? Oh. Damn it. All right. We're not going to be able to get LeBron then. Oh, so I just cleared up all that cap space to try to land LeBron. All right. So I got to bring Whiteside back in these testing. Dwayne Wade wants 27. I'm not giving him that. Teller Johnson, I will bring back. Amare, uh, maybe I'll offer Jer um, Gerald Green. I don't want to give Wade 27 million because then I'll just, I mean, I'm not going to be able to sign LeBron next year. I'll get these three guys and I'll see who's the best free agent here. I got to bring back Whiteside, obviously, because then I'm going to probably trade Whiteside for DeAndre Jordan. Um, Drummond is here. I'll offer him this deal, the one-year deal. Um, we got to bring Whiteside back. So I got to give him... Was he not... Yeah, he's not even restricted. So that's the most it lets me give him, and we'll give him player option. He should accept that. Ah, uh, yes, we're number... His number one deal. Um, do I have anybody that can win defensive player of the year here? No. What else do I need? I have rookie of the year down. Most approved, I got six men. All right, I need defensive coach... Okay, so we should be good here. Let me just get Whiteside, and we have 22 million. Uh, the Pistons match it. Um, let me see if Drummond's a free agent next year. Um, if I went to the Pistons, uh, no. Okay, so he's not gonna be a free agent again in this video. But I'm going to advance past um, free agency, and I'll see you guys at player progression. Okay, we are sending Hassan Whiteside and Tyler Johnson over to the Thunder for Andre Roberson and DeAndre Jordan. So I'm really hoping we can get two awards this year. I doubt we're going to get Coach of the Year, but okay, Simmons giving 36. I want to give um, less minutes to everybody else, really. So DeAndre Jordan's got to get 36. Or we'll give them both 37. Hopefully, we can take them Defensive Player of the Year and Rookie of the Year. And yeah, so let's see what happens, and I'll see you guys at the end of Season 2. Okay, we're sitting here at the trade deadline, and Ben Simmons is the front runner to win Rookie of the Year. That would be dope. Defensive player, dude, DeAndre Jordan. You got to get up there, dude. You got to beat out Rudy and Anthony Davis. Uh, but, yeah, this is MVP. And um, I don't think they'll sh show me um, coach of the year. But we have a shot to win it, actually. We, I don't... No, we're almost the best record in the NBA. But there's a chance we could still win it. I'll show you the stats here at the deadline. Simmons and McCollum are tearing it up. And then Favors is actually having a really nice year. This is actually the best season I've had ever with him on my team. I guess he compliments DeAndre Jordan really well, but I'm really hoping DeAndre Jordan can win it, and I'll see you guys if we can take home Rookie of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year and maybe even Coach of the Year. So, pretty much expected we did not get MVP. We get Rookie of the Year. Let's go. So, we have three awards on six men. I'm really scared to see Defensive Player of the Year. Damn it. All right, it's Anthony Davis. Most improved is Jordan Mickey. Billy Donovan, Coach of the Year. Oh, we didn't even get Coach of the Year. So, we have Rookie, Most Improved, and six men. Then we need MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and Coach of the Year. Oh, this is going to be tough. But we did go um, get a one seed. Uh, we went 62 and 20. Six games better than the two seed Cavs. We still have LeBron. Um, please tell me if LeBron uh, did not resign with the Cavs because then we're never going to win that award. <sighs> Damn it. Yep. Unless I get Ben Simmons like 50 minutes next year, I doubt we're gonna, he's going to win MVP. Uh, these were the player stats if you want to pause it and see it. Um, he had 14 rebounds and 2.7 blocks. I don't know how he didn't win it. But let's see if we can win an NBA championship. So first round against the Hawks. Let's simulate the current round against them. And we win in five. So we're taking on the Pistons. Who got players like Amir Johnson. Um, Stanley Johnson. Reggie Jackson. Okay. Um, let's see if we can beat them in a seven game series. So we win in five and we're taking on the Cavs. This was expected. They win game one. We win game two. We win game three. They win game four. All right. So we're down three to two. And we lose in six. Damn it. And the Cavs. It's a rematch of last year's finals in the game, and this time the Thunder win, and Russell Westbrook is your finals MVP. That Jazz pick got us the fifth overall pick, so I'm going to try to do some magic here and try to acquire an MVP candidate. I'm going to see if the Mavs will let us move up from 5-1, to one, and they don't want to do that. What if I throw in... Oh, I can't throw in Winslow. Avery Bradley. Avery Bradley, the fifth pick. Oh, okay. Can I move up to number two for that? Um, Who's got the number two pick? Uh, The Nuggets do. 
Okay, what if I throw in Avery Bradley? Can I move up to their pick? All right, give me your worst player under contract. Please tell me you have a really crappy player under contract. Darrell Arthur. Okay, yes, they agree to that. So we have the number two pick. Let's see if we can go over to the Mavericks and get the number one pick. And then I have a player in mind that I want to trade for. Um, DeAndre Jordan, no. Is that the... Please tell me I have more than him under contract. Okay, Gerald Green. Damn it. Um, and what if I throw in a... Or what if I throw in a Darrell Arthur instead? Amari for JJ Barrera. Okay, I'm fine with doing that. Uh, I tried trading Derek Favors at 2017 first and JJ Barrera for Kyrie Irving, but it's just not going to happen. Let's see if I throw Favors and the first overall pick on the block. See what I can get. Brandon Ingram, he's not winning MVP next year. Uh, yeah, none of these players are winning MVP next year. Damn it. So with the number one overall pick, I took a gamble and I took Dennis Smith. I don't know about that. I probably should have traded fucking like Isaiah Thomas or something. Wins on Anthony Brown. I'm bringing back. Okay. I could try to get Chris Paul, maybe, but I doubt he's going to win MVP. Um, let's see if I go do player contracts, how much money we got. We got $33 million. That is enough for a max. I'm going to offer the qualifying offers to all these players. Uh, so McCollum is a restricted free agent, obviously, and I'm not going to uh, try resigning him now. Uh, none of these guys I'm going to bring back as of now. $33 million. Is there an MVP candidate, maybe, in free agency? Okay, Blake Griffin is here. Um, I wouldn't consider him an MVP candidate, but maybe he, we could work him out and trade for one. Okay, and we're just number one offer. Let's go. All right. Uh, Bird rights like give Andre Roberson, Hollis Thompson, and CJ McCollum deals. All right. So, um, is there any centers that would win defensive player of the year? Probably not. Um, all right. So, let's offer deals. Wait. To Paul Old Depot. If I don't get Blake, I'm going to uh, sign Old Depot. All right. Um, and a player option. All right. So, let's advance. Please tell me we get Blake. Yes. And we get McCollum. I can't get LD ball, obviously, but let's go. This team is looking very stacked for next year. Uh, we'll see the lineup in a second. Um, point guard, you have Dennis Smith. Shooting guard, you have McCollum. Small forward, you have Simmons. All right, I might just go all in and try to get Ben Simmons an MVP. Uh, or I could trade Derek Favors or Blake Griffin for like Kyrie or just try to work some magic out. All right, I'm just going to randomly offer this to the Cavs. Blake Griffin, Dennis Smith, and Justice Winslow for Tristan Thompson and Kyrie. And they don't do that. Um... I don't think there's any other player I think I have to roll with. I'm going to actually trade, though, Derek Favors now. And I don't know. I'm just trying to get Coach of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year this year. And then, um, I guess MVP was just... Maybe if I got LeBron, but... I would like a better starting point guard, maybe. Um, Stanley Johnson would be nice to get. But let me go... Let me go Brandon Knight, or should I go Mike Conley? Um, let me go Brandon Knight. I never usually get Brandon Knight... Um, I'm gonna take him and let's throw him at the point guard spot. So we have Brandon Knight, CJ McCollum, Ben Simmons. All right. Yes, I'm gonna try to get Ben Simmons MVP. I don't know how well it's gonna work out, but we're gonna try our best and try to get DeAndre Jordan Defensive Player of the Year. Okay, so at the deadline, look who is at number five, creeping in into the MVP voting. Okay, that could hopefully that works out well and he can maybe. Ah, uh, he's not gonna pass KD. What am I saying? Um, we don't have anybody else here. Defensive play of the year, DeAndre's number one. Let's go. Please win that out, DeAndre. Um, it's not gonna tell me coach of the year, but we just need defensive coach and MVP. We have people on the running. Um, we are in first place, 39 and fifth, uh, 14, 25 games over 500. Um, is that best in the NBA? Probably. Oh, um, have a game behind the Warriors and tie with the, th or I have a game better than Thunder. So hopefully coach of the year is in our future. These are the stats if you want to pause and see, but I'll see you guys at the end of season three. Uh, Ben Simmons doesn't win rookie of the year, so we weren't able to do that challenge. Um, are you kidding? Are you freaking serious? DeAndre Jordan doesn't win defensive boy of the year, and we don't even get coach of the year. You know what? That was, uh, let's see, the worst case scenario. Oh, uh, we did fall to the two seed behind the Cavs by two games. Oh, that's so annoying. These were the uh, spots similar as they were in the playoffs. You know, let's just see with the NBA Finals. I'm going to do one more year, and I'll see you guys at the start of Season 4 with the new team or the same team that I've assembled. And holy crap, we did actually win the NBA title. That was like the most low-key championship we could have had. Um, Finals MVP was Ben Simmons. Look at those numbers. If he can average those next year, he can win MVP. And let's see if we can get those three awards we need. This is the team. We have Ben Simmons, Blake, DeAndre Jordan, CJ McCollum, Brandon Knight, Winslow, Justin Jackson, Frank Nantilinka, Andre Roberson, Dennis Smith. This is the lineup. We have Ben Simmons playing 40 minutes. Um, he's going to be the first scoring option. Second will be DeAndre. And hopefully, I don't even know that means something uh, for his defense ability. Uh, but yeah, so this is the lineup. We have DeAndre getting 37 and Simmons getting 40. We need coach, MVP, and 
uh, defense play of the year, and we're going to see if this is the year we can finally get them. Okay. Ben Simmons is number two in MVP voting, and DeAndre is fifth. I don't know how DeAndre is averaging 21 points in his... Well, he's getting 34 minutes a game, but I don't know. He's doing well. I don't care. Um, defensive play of the year. DeAndre is one. Please, can we win these? And we are first in the Eastern Conference by five games. I'm just really hoping Ben will uh, Ben Simmons will win MVP, DeAndre Defensive Player of the Year, and we get Coach of the Year as well. Damn it, uh, Ben Simmons does not win MVP. All right, please tell me we get Defensive Player of the Year. Yes, thank you. We finally get Defensive Player of the Year, and we get Coach of the Year. Let's freaking go. We were able to get every award in this but MVP. And honestly, if we were able to sign LeBron after the year one offseason, we probably would have gotten MVP by now. Uh, this was the team. Um, it was stacked. I will um, simulate this offseason. But we went 65-17, a game better than Thunder for the best record in the NBA. Let me simulate the playoffs, see if we can win another chip, back-to-back -back chips, and we almost lose in the first round. And then we just go through the playoffs, and we beat the Mavs in seven. Holy crap, they Sharif O'Neal. Uh, Marcus Aldridge, oh my god, that's a sick 4-5. Uh, they brought in Mike Conley, uh, brought back Channel Parsons, they have Joe Kim Noah. So that's a pretty stacked team, but yeah, that's good for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments um, what more challenges you want to see and how this challenge was. Did you guys like it or not? And um, let me know if you guys tried on your own, what how you do. I read every comment, even if I don't respond to yours, I have read it probably. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if this video gets over 750 likes, I'll come out with uh, another challenge video shortly. And yeah, that'll be for me. Hope you guys had a great day. Love you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.